G'day, I'm Nick, and a lot has happened since we last saw each other. But before we get back into it, because that is where this conversation is heading, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who ever supported me on Patreon. Especially with how the last few years went, I can't thank you enough. When I started this channel, my goal was to add an encouraging voice that I felt was missing from the chorus online when it came to storytelling, characterization, and world building. The things I was most passionate about at the time. And given my game development background back then, I focused on games and even more narrowly on tabletop through admittedly rather an idealistic lens. Because when you're working in that industry, living in that niche of the world, the way one views something like D&D or TTRPGs isn't as a single predefined product. It's as a reprieve, as a breath of fresh air, an infinite playground full of possibility and free from restriction. You know, everything that would take months or years to implement in your project, everything your engine couldn't support or budget would never allow, could all be explored immediately with the other creative people in your orbit. You were absolutely free. And that freedom, that unlimited potential, is what I felt was missing when I tuned my ear to the voices online. While there were all manner of figure heralding game types and narrative worlds you may truly resonate with and wish to act out for the rest of your days, I always felt, and I still feel, there's this overriding assumption. I'm dancing around the word gatekeeping because it's a lot more gentle and unspoken than that implies, but there's a pervasive belief in the way things should be done, a correct way, a, a need to conform, be they to tropes or narrative rules, or even the lens of a game, that when spoken with authority or kindness, it's convincing, even comforting, but still a little bias. And over the years, I've noticed that this paradigm, this state of the game, so to speak, completely shuts out huge segments of the population that could otherwise be enjoying and creating their own beautiful little moments with live interactive storytelling. Because that's all any of this really is when you strip away the fantasy facade. At its core, in its most pure distilled form, live interactive storytelling is the best label I can give the magic, the spark, the connection that is tapped into by these games. And for me, that is the goal. Not to fight a dragon or roll some dice or even to build a persistent world that is explored time and time again. Those things are abstractions, personalized to my tastes and perhaps yours too. But the true goal, the grail that's just out of reach, that I'm convinced everyone can appreciate if they could only grasp it, is that sense of connection, that shared experience from exploring a story with those who are the most special to us. And I'm not trying to sound profound or novel with that sentiment. Just a fact when you look at any of our histories, like storytelling, mythology, imagination have forever been shared and recorded in every medium we could get our hands upon as far back as we've scried into the past. And despite all the changes since then in mediums with technologies branching and evolving throughout time, that purest human form, the spoken word, sitting around a campfire with your family telling stories or spinning a tale to put your kid to sleep, that hasn't left us. It hasn't splintered or devolved away. It's a thousands of years old skill, a, a timeless itch we still need to scratch. And even as all these creative forms get more beautiful, more complex, more distant from the human element, I don't see that need leaving us anytime soon, nor ever really being fully satiated without returning to what lies immutably present in a resonant human experience that is shared together in real time.
And that is an experience that I believe is valuable to everyone, even outside the trappings of D&D or TTRPGs. There are just so many more forms it can take, so many use cases, contexts and workflows that can really benefit from embracing live, interactive storytelling. And I want to encourage all of that. All of that preamble is to say, I'm back with the videos, as before to ignite your creativity, but with a renewed purpose to really push you to act, to start to finish whatever that creatively challenging project is that's stuck on your mind, be that D&D, a game, a novel, or even a network series. So what's changed? A clarification for my own state of mind. To ensure the best footing to really dive into these topics, I'm going to take a step back from the explicit framing of TTRPGs and D&D as the common language throughout everything I make on this channel. For one, in an effort to make these storytelling conversations more approachable to those whose reflexive reaction to gaming labels is somewhat less receptive, as you'll soon see. But more pressingly, personally, I've transitioned from one industry into another, from game development into film and TV, thanks to virtual production. And I want to feel more able to freely discuss storytelling and creation from this wider, more inclusive purview without feeling unnecessarily confined to a single format. Because deep down, all these creative mediums that we all enjoy share the same beating heart. It's all storytelling. And my goal is simply to lower whatever barriers you're feeling and enable you to not only create the thing, whatever you desire, but to make it there, to get there through the process with a smile still plastered across your face. And I want to feel just as free to discuss the abstract as to hone in and address those niche considerations that crop up when weaving a tale that's only spun amongst friends versus creating a short film you'll edit yourself or even packaging something larger scale that you're hoping to pitch to get funding to take even further. I want to be clear that the tabletop content will resume. I've got over 20 videos lined up under this banner of listen. So this will be season one. Level one. The idea there is to flesh out a curriculum that would allow newcomers to really forge the tools most appropriate to create whatever bespoke dream they've got their hearts set upon. We also be getting glimpses, discussions, and lessons learned from the other projects passing through my hands. So starting now, every video will have its own accompanying article on my website with follow-up prompts, questions, or exercises related to the topic discussed to get your creative juices flowing. There's also a membership section if you'd like to directly encourage and enable the D&D and TTRPG style listen content. But I'll fully explain all of that as listen rolls out. I did previously have a Patreon where if you ever did support me, like these wonderful people, you'll be getting some gifts in your inbox as Listen unfolds. And that Patreon is back up now, but to support everything on the channel, not just Listen. So virtual production and the widest spectrum of things that I'll be getting into. However, I urge you not to rush into signing up right away or anything like that. Give it a few months, see if you like the direction I'm going in, the prompts, the exercises, the articles, and if you want just a little bit more, or you want some feedback on one of your own creations, or you just want to support me and help me produce more videos. Obviously, I'd hugely appreciate it. Those of you who already supported me on Patreon really had an incredible impact on me, not just financially speaking. Your support, the positivity in the comments that were over there, it really made all of it feel worthwhile. So thank you once again, and thank you all just for watching. For now, that's all. You can check out my website for some hints of what's coming up. But better yet, you tell me what you're working on. What challenges are you facing? What would you find useful for me to talk about? Drop it in the comments, and I'll see you soon.